Hey y'all, so right now I'm in my boyfriend's work truck with my dog. We're packing up the truck and we're going to the beach and we're gonna go fishing. So I'm gonna film a day in my life. Bring Luna, cause she loves to swim. And today we're going to Sanibel. We haven't been there. We go to like the causeway, which is right before the actual island a lot, but it's honestly a pretty far drive. Like it's only 17 miles, but it can take a long time with traffic and we're getting into season. So traffic can be a little bit nuts, but I just wanted to show y'all like what we do on a typical weekend day and what it's like to live in Southwest Florida. Right, Ian's? Are you gonna go salmon? Are you going swimming? Are you going to the beach? Yes, she's excited. Okay, I will update you as soon as we get going. right now from Fort Myers and as you can see it's a little bit choppy but it's still going to be a gorgeous day. We're going to go try to catch some, uh, I don't know, I'm not really sure what we're going to catch today. We're going to try <laughs> to catch some fish, some good fish. I don't know exactly what kind of fish but we're going to try. I guess that's all we can do. Just a little bit, or you want to go right here? This water is so blue. Oh, be careful. I'll get down. Hey y'all, so we made it to Sanibel. We're almost like to the bridge to cross over to Captiva, but um, yeah, we're here and the water is gorgeous. Um, Brandon's just setting up the poles right now and we're probably gonna go snorkeling. We brought wetsuits. The water isn't even that cold actually though, so we might not even need them. And it's so blue, it's perfect for snorkeling and all that. And Luna's having a ball. Woo! I'm trying to look for some shells really quickly because this is Sanibel Island. Like that's what it's most famous for is having like seashells. But yeah, no, it's literally the most perfect day. Let's see. The weather's perfect, the water. I haven't seen the water this blue probably since last year. So that's incredible. Sorry. Those are homes right there. I don't think anybody's in them right now because I know one was 
for sale, but no one else is on the beach. Oh, here's my little friend. So many birds out here. Luna doesn't really mess with them. She's just more worried about swimming and stuff like that. Here's the other end of the beach. We'll probably walk down here. Hi, little buddy. Hi, little buddy. There's pelicans out there. Oh my gosh. I'm so thankful. Oh, I wish I could just share it all with you guys. These homes, this is like a, this actually house sold for the most money, I believe, like on the island's history. I believe it was for like 40 million or 60 million or something. It is insanely large though. But honestly, this beach is slowly disappearing. Every time we come back, it's less and less of a beach. It used to be all the way like out there and now it's getting so close to these homes so they're probably gonna actually have to bring in more sand or something but yeah still our favorite beach no people luna loves it here we go I have my top part off because I was just in the water and it feels warmer when I have it off and I'm in the sun But my boyfriend has his on his full one. Mine has the legs cut off. I prefer feeling freer But the water is pretty dang cold. I know we live in Florida, but it's still pretty cold um, Definitely having wetsuits out there while you're snorkeling or just like, you know, I would say like higher than waist deep Oh, definitely it makes just makes it more comfortable. We could go out there without it, but I just feel more comfortable and warmer when I have a wetsuit on. So we've just been snorkeling and taking the cast net out there and yeah. So that's pretty much what we've been up to. Luna's been swimming. Still no fish. I'm really disappointed. Um, honestly, the whole fishing season, every place we've gone to just hasn't really been that good. Nobody's really been catching fish unless, unless they go offshore. But we don't mind. I mean, honestly, this beach is beautiful and the, you know, the water is beautiful, so we'll tolerate it. That's Brandon out there. His wet suit on. He's crazy. Oh! He's trying to catch some fish with the cabinet. Not necessarily bait fish, but actual big fish. We'll see. <laughs> There's a lot of cement blocks here because people shark fish here and when they drop bait they time the cement blocks and it kind of sucks because people can stub their toe on them and I know that seems like first world problems but when you're out in the water and really can't see the bottom stubbing your toe kind of sucks. I did see someone made like this seashell 
necklace or hang thing. I don't know. People on Sanibel Island tend to make stuff and with the seashells and stuff. It's so cool though. Look at that. Beautiful. Hang that back where it was. Old seashells. Uh, what do they call them? Hermit crab. Yeah, it's like a big hermit. Did you find it right out there? Yeah. Maybe see it a little bit better like that. All right, you want to go put them back? Okay, I feel so weird doing this in front of you. We are packing up. It's like almost three o'clock. We've been here since 10. He's got the way. Going up the hill. We didn't catch a single fish, except for bait fish, which is fine. It was worth it. We're gonna go home, because we both have work in the morning, so we have stuff to do. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing Santa Bell. Bye, Santa Bell. Peace out.